After a heart attack, most people will have to take several different kinds of medicine every day. They'll play a vital part in your recovery and in reducing the risk of having another heart attack in the future. While you're in hospital, the doctor or nurse will have explained what they were and why you were taking them, and this chapter recaps on this information. I think the key message is keep taking the tablets. The tablets are important, and these tablets only work as long as the chemicals are present in the system, so although it's a drag, and we none of us are very good at remembering to take them, and I think subconsciously a lot of people would prefer not to be taking them, and make, it makes them feel differently about themselves, but these tablets are important. The amount of research showing that the, the tablets prevent a second heart attack and restore the quality of life is overwhelming. I take these two in the morning, after I've had breakfast, and these three in the evening, before I go to bed. I wasn't too bad with it, really, because you, you've got, you know you've got to take them, so you just get into the way of doing it each day. Taking aspirin once a day is a very effective way to reduce the risk of having another heart attack. A heart attack is caused by a clot blocking a narrowed artery, and aspirin works by making the platelets in your blood less sticky, so that the clots don't form so easily. Beta blockers can reduce the complications people have after a heart attack, and are especially effective in the first year. They slow down the heart rate and try to make the heart muscle work less hard. Research over the years has told us that that supports and protects the heart. So the number of heartbeats per minute is less. Your heart rate might drop to 50 from 70. If you times that by 24 hours, that's far less work on the heart per day. And the actual strength of the contraction of the heart muscle itself is slightly, is slightly softer. So it's overall protective of the heart muscle. High cholesterol is one of the risk factors for coronary heart disease. And even if your cholesterol is fairly low, most people who've had a heart attack are prescribed a statin. This lowers cholesterol further, reducing the risk of having another heart attack. These are my bag of sweets. Yeah. I take four in the morning. That's one of those. That one. That one, and that one. And then overnight, I take one of them and repeat on that one. So all together, it's six tablets a day. ACE inhibitors can also reduce the risk of having another heart attack. These drugs dilate the arteries in the body, lowering the blood pressure and reducing the amount of strain on the heart. If you have angina, you may be given a tablet or GTN spray to help relieve or prevent symptoms. You should keep your GTN with you at all times and use it as your doctor has told you. If you have angina or take GTN medication, please see our angina booklet for more information. If you think you're experiencing any side effects, don't stop taking the tablets but talk to your pharmacist, doctor or nurse who will be able to advise you on what to do. Remember, these medicines are there to help you and your heart recover as quickly as possible so you can get back to living a normal life.